It looks like we're at the top of the hour and we're ready to get started. Good morning and uh, good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world today. I'm Dane Didimore, Solutions Marketing Director with DataBank. And I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, highlighting our new data center in Denver, Colorado, Den5. And our speakers today are Tony Corey, our Vice President of Construction, and Jen Bowman, our RVP of Mountain Sales West. So what uh, Jen will do is take us uh, through a little bit about DataBank for those of you who are not familiar with DataBank or don't have a current update on uh, DataBank. And then uh, she'll take us through the Denver Metro and our Centennial Campus profile. And then Tony will take over and tell us a little bit more about the specifications and the development plan for the site. And finally, Jen will wrap up with uh, some of the pre-ordering details for those of you who would like to get started. So I'll turn it over to Jen and she'll uh, give you a little bit more about DataBank. Thank you, Dana, I appreciate it. Thank you everybody for joining today. Um, so yeah, DataBank started and was founded in 2005 just as a single data center provider in downtown Dallas, the Federal Reserve Bank building, hence our name, DataBank. Um, now, 17 years later, we have more data centers and more metro markets than really any other data center provider in the U.S. So more than 65 facilities and more than 27 markets. Um, but really, our data centers we view as just being the beginning. What's inside of them is much more important to us and to our customers. So we offer a wide variety of services from co-location, interconnection, cloud, to manage security, disaster recovery, and compliance. Um, and all of which is designed to make your infrastructure more flexible, scalable, and resi resilient. Next slide, please. So our edge footprint. Um, today we have an ecosystem that spans, you know, like I mentioned before, 65 plus data centers, 20 major um, interconnect hubs, which carrier hotels, and 27 plus US metros um, that are capable of putting your workloads and data within 100 miles or so of more than 60% of the US population, which we think is a key differentiator for us. In addition, DataBank has invested in nine specific campus locations. You'll see them on this map um, in the bold circles. Those nine specific locations, they give us greater control of expansion planning, um, reduced construction timeframes and faster speed to market. But on top of that, it also creates efficiency for our local staff and customers by lo locating workloads in close proximity to one another. So this higher concentration of customers and workloads is really attractive and attracts more network and cloud providers, which enhances our interconnection opportunities. And um, we believe that this ecosystem provides the ideal foundation upon which we can capitalize on the demand for edge data center capacity, which we expect to continue you know, for the next 10 years plus. Next slide. So yeah, Denver, Colorado. I'm gonna briefly go over the Denver Metro. And you can see here a map of where our, our data centers are located. Um, we feel that the Denver Metro is a great market to expand into. The economy ranks fourth for fastest growth in the last five years. You can see on here, we have five data centers plus one campus that we're currently expanding into. Tony will speak about that a little bit more in the next slides. Um, 168,000 total data center square footage space with you know, over 23 megawatts of critical IT power. So really, we just feel that the Denver metro market is a great market. That's why we're investing in it. Um, and we see a lot of demand in that market. Tony, I'll let you take it from here on the next slide. Yeah, thanks, Jen. And good morning, all. Uh, again, my name is Tony Corey. I'm the vice president of construction. I spearhead all of our uh, construction development efforts. Um, today, talking here a little bit about an existing campus, which we've expanded on. Here on the left-hand side, you'll see the existing DEN2 facility, uh, four megawatt facility. Uh, leg it was one of the legacy lattices sites, which rolled into the Zicolo portfolio, and obviously now into the data bank portfolio. Um, so we do own and operate the DEN2 site. Uh, we have some adjacent land, approximately 10 acres, uh, just to the left of it, which will be part of a potential future deployment as part of the overall campus. Um, but today we're talking about DEN5, so this building to the right-hand side which um, was a brownfield retrofit facility, just under 110,000 square feet. Uh, that is going to comprise of three data halls, which will make up 15 megawatt of critical IT infrastructure. Um, 
it is a race floor environment in which I will talk more about. Um, but it is a very flexible race floor environment, which we have the ability to um, cater to multiple customers, including some higher density uh, requests that we've had here recently. Uh, next slide, Dane. Uh, next one. Thank you. Um, just a little more detail on the floor space and the data halls. So again, it is comprised of three separate data halls. Uh, day one, we are building out the full data hall one, approximately 28,000 uh, square feet. Uh, it will be in total six megawatt of critical IT. Uh, we are putting in two megawatt of power and three megawatt of cooling uh, day one with the ability to fast scale into the rest of the build out. Uh, we've gone ahead and purchased the equipment to scale into future tranches, again, for rapid deployment. So as Jen and her team are able to uh, sell in additional customers, um, we can turn on additional capacity uh, fairly quickly. In a final build status, um, again, the other data halls, data hall two will match that of data hall one, an additional six megawatt, an additional 28,000 square feet just adjacent to it. And then off to the west of the building will be in its own individual data hall three, which is just roughly under 10,000 square feet and three megawatt of uh, critical IT. Uh, from a power design perspective, um, this is one of our distributed redundant power designs. Uh, we have shifted to more of a block redundant standard on our move forwards. Um, our typical design consists of two megawatt IT blocks. Uh, so we've got our three megawatt generators and our two meg UPSs. Again, bringing us to a final build of the 15 megawatt. The last data hall, data hall three, will be comprised of 1.5 megawatt blocks. Um, and that's all based on a restriction from the utility and, and the critical IT load we can get into that site. And from cooling, um, this again is one of our sites in which we've deployed the uh, Vertiv DSC cooling technology. So air-cooled pump refrigerant, um, you get minimal water usage, uh, our standard design is an M plus 20 from a redundancy perspective. Um, and we're looking at 250 watts a square foot per data hall uh, from a density perspective. We have been looking in multiple areas in which we've deployed the same product at some higher density uh, clients who are looking for chilled water back doors. So we have entertained and deployed the uh, Vertiv XTM solution in many scenarios as well. From an interconnection perspective, um, I want to just start off by saying we are um, tethering the two sites together. So DEN2 will be directly tied back to DEN5 uh, via connection through the Meet Me rooms. Uh, so we've trenched across the, the campus to connect the two buildings, but we've also added two additional diverse point of entries, one on each side of the building, one on the north, one on the south side uh, for additional fiber entrances uh, based on any customer requirements or any networking needs. Uh, so day one, you will get the carrier connectivity uh, linked together from DEN2 to DEN5, um, as well as services as, such as Manage Internet and Cloud Direct Connect. From a facility security perspective, um, typical across our portfolio, uh, what you'll see at DEN5 is our standard across all of our sites. So two-factor authorization, uh, man trap slash circle lock turnstiles, 24-hour staff and video surveillance, um, the entire campus will actually be fenced in via an Ameristar Montage 2 type uh, specification. Um, and again, electronic sign in through the through the knock and security technicians. And amenities, uh, again, like all of our sites, we do provide amenities for our customers. Uh, break room, conference rooms, office space, which are shared environments, uh, your shipping and receiving, your storage. This site specifically uh, above some of those shared spaces has some built to suit, uh, built to suite office and uh, storage availability. Right now we're marketing it as 1400 square feet. There are some additional flex spaces in which we can get creative on, but as customers come in on a uh, kind of quote unquote, first come first serve basis, we are willing to work with their administrative needs as well as storage needs in the site. And just an overall timeline in the development plan. Um, so we did break ground in Q4 of 2022. Uh, we've got trades fully engulfed in the trenches. Uh, Data Hall 1 is coming over, uh, is coming around um, looking quite nice. I was just there a couple weeks ago. Um, and right now we are planning a grand opening in Q4 of 2023. Um, 
the pull the plug and integrated systems test with a level five commissioning is scheduled to be completed by November 1st of this year. Great. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dane. So those of you watching, you're maybe wondering, you know, how, how do I get started on this? Who can I contact? How can I tour one of these data centers, um, see this build out? So you can reach out directly to me. There's my contact information. I do also have two local reps in market who are always willing to meet, show you around, give you a tour. I'm so happy to do that. So just feel free to reach out to me via email. I would love to connect with any of you and, and show you more of our Denver market. Thank you. So that concludes our webinar today. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Jen and Tony. And thank you uh, to everyone who attended today. And uh, have a great rest of your week and rest of your day. And we'll see you next time.